Yo, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're wondering why today is a voiceover, let's just say I had MMA training today and I got my face busted. So yeah, that's that. Um, today we're talking about Kiko Kostadinov and in particular, as you can tell from the title, uh, man like Kiko, he needs to be stopped immediately. Um, if you don't know who Kiko Kostadinov is, uh, I can talk a lot about him. He's a Bulgarian designer. Um, he studied fashion design at CSM, Central St. Martins. And I think he moved to London at the age of 16 because I know that confuses a lot of people. Um, a lot of people think that he isn't or shouldn't be considered a British designer, but he kind of learned how to design in London and he, you know, he went to school in London. Um, he's also a creative director for a diffusion line of Macintosh. And if you don't know what Macintosh is, it's like a heritage brand similar to Burberry. Um, was founded by Charles Macintosh in the 19th century. And Charles Macintosh was a very intelligent chemist who was working on waterproofing cotton. And he eventually came up with the right materials and from there, he designed a jacket called a Mac jacket. So if you ever buy a coat or a jacket and it's called a Mac jacket, that comes from Macintosh. And a Mac is just an abbreviation of Macintosh for that design and style jacket that Charles Macintosh first did um, for his waterproof designs. Um, now there are better materials like Gore-Tex for water, but as that's new technology, that's more expensive. And Mac is more of a style Gore-Tex is the material itself. So yeah, that's just the brief background of Macintosh, very heritage. And going back to Kiko Kostadinov, he's a very, very good designer. He's one of the best designers out right now, especially from London. And what's funny is he hasn't really, he's kind of like blown up really quickly because his debut collection was in 2017. So it's crazy to see where he is now. And I think most people in recent times know him mainly because of his um, collab with ASICS, which was a big thing. And to talk about his aesthetic at first, like looking at his first collections, you can kind of see this like tailoring and contemporary workwear fusion. But if you look at his most recent collections, his more recent collections, so past two, there's less of a focus on the like workwear and even though it's a fusion of tailoring and workwear, um, contemporary workwear, it's like there's more of a focus on tailoring. And my guess would be he takes fashion really seriously and he's a really serious designer. He's serious about his craft. So to be respected in fashion, I think he thinks and believes that you need to show that you can um, play with different silhouettes and you can design with very difficult shapes in tailoring. So I think that's what he has been doing and that's what he's moved to. But in summary, he's a really good designer. Now, going to why he this guy needs to be stopped, right? It almost seems like from time to time when I go on his Instagram, there's some sort of controversy. And um, I was going through High Fashion Talk, which is a Facebook group that talks about high-end fashion. So definitely check that out if you're on Facebook. And I saw a post on it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a video about this because this man actually needs to be stopped because I've seen this enough. Um, we all found it, and I've talked about this actually, we found it funny when Kiko Kostadinov uh, called Virgil Abloh out for being a terrible designer. Not gonna lie, that was quite funny, but then that's not like the first and the last time. He does it all the time um, on his personal Instagram and on the main brand Instagram, which is mad. I don't see why he's... um involving personal opinions with his brand but fair enough to him but it just seems like all the time he's just calling people out and i just fear that people are going to hate him and forget how good of a designer he is um because it's not like he he gives constructive criticism he just swears and says really brass statements and talks really bad about other designers um I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Um, yeah, as a designer, it's, I think it's more his delivery than anything else. And it's just like, my advice to him would be just, 
keep your personal opinions to yourself especially because your brand is going to be global really quickly and you know all these triggered millennials are going to come out and start searching for whatever they can find to try and tarnish your name when they they're trying to look for something to discredit you so yeah Kiko Sabnos just really needs to be stopped man this man really needs to be stopped he's just out here absolutely wilding like he just needs to absolutely chill out uh, what do you guys think do you think it's funny or do you think it's good that uh, someone who takes his craft seriously is calling out other, de- other designers or do you think he's taking it too far and it will kind of affect his perception and his brand image uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below you know that's how it always goes um, follow me on instagram at fashion roadman i'm trying to get my instagram game up um subscribe to this channel like this video if you're new and if you're new to this channel uh it's called the fashion archive i talk about fashion um i try to keep discussions about more serious stuff on this channel um none of that hype beast you know stuff and um, yeah on that note i'm out paris fashion week review part two part three and four are coming soon uh so yeah that's all i have to say and laters